So I'm Michael Kay for Atika, standing for Oteki. Today we're just going to have a look at the two different soils. This this here is uh, this is from our farm. This is or used to be vegetable soil, um, and it's just a little square sample. Um, this sample here is um, sort of a, a square that I took out. Obviously, it's from a um, cultivated paddock. So the very first thing that we do when we want to just like a lot of people talk about soil testing, and this is just one very very simple way to test soil is to actually see what's in it. So these are always good, and we just spread that soil out and we just look for life. So that's a little bit of life. The reason I use this is I don't want to I don't want to damage it too, too much. So there's a little bit of aggregate there, and we've we're pretty much um, th there is no there is no life. Um, there was one little root which, um, looking at that root, is potentially um, off uh, a weed actually. Just don't want to poke it around too much. Maybe another little bit there, but there's no no worms. So we're just going to put that back in our bucket, or we'll just leave it there for now, so that we can just show it side by side. We'll just put that. Side. So obviously when you're dealing with a with a, um, a sample from a paddock it's much different because it's 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 clumped together and uh, just to be clear that's the bottom of the bucket or the bottom of the sample and I just cut a standard wedge sample so as you can see the root structure has held that together you can see there's some worms there just the sides of the sample and so those roots were down the, the full length of it so that was that was the depth of the sample and this this bit's broken off here okay so for the purpose of making this what I'm going to do is I'm just going to break this sample as a as a core and we're going to take that core out and include some of the body from the bottom I'm just going to put that bit to the side. We we'll take a little bit of this back and we're just going to examine this now. We've just got to do this just to make, to get into the sample. We can see all old root life and things like that. Got our worm, a few more worms back in here. Some baby worms there. They're still producing babies. more worms there see so we can do a bit of a worm count but um, I don't want to for the purpose of the whole thing you know like I don't want to break the soil apart so much so that I'm actually um, changing changing the, the, the texture of the soil for for the next part of this 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 presentation what we could say here is that is enough for our next part on that on a quarter we had about six worms in that quarter um, and so for the whole thing times it by four we've got about 24 20 28 worms in 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 this part remembering that this is x vegetable ground it's not really representational of the whole farm it's the hardest part for me to actually regenerate on this on this farm because um, most of the topsoil has been washed off it. So we purposely we purposely chose this spot just to give a what it looks like after five years regeneration. So the next thing we're going to do is um, take these two even samples of water and put them into the into these two different samples of soil, and we're trying to mainly test the um, the water impermeability of the soil. Um, which gives us an idea of just how much um, rain, rain water it can store and just how healthy the soil is and how well it's functioning. So um, just giving this a couple of bangs, just basically that's just to sort of simulate the fact that, you know, like we've been, we've been manipulating it around and stuff, not too much, but enough. And just want to sort of get it consistent in the glass. So, as you can see there's just a space there for that water to go in 
Um, unfortunately, it's a bit dirty, but um, hopefully we'll be able to we'll be able to film down on it anyway. But anyway, we'll get that one. That one there is the industrial agricultural dirt from exactly what this other soil was, but this other soil is just after a few years of regeneration. So we'll just put this one up next to its glass water and we get the same thing here. Trying not to have things that would skew it because too much vegetable matter and we're actually testing the vegetable matter. We'll try and get rid of that lump like we did with the other soil. And again just a couple of bangs. We've got some lumps forming up the top there that not really consistent. So you just see that it's gone down a little bit more, so we'll just top it up to about the same level as the other glass. Okay. That one there. Up to the bottom. Okay, so it might just be better from up on this. And I've got a little bit too much. Do you mind just putting the water next to each each water glass next to each other? Yeah, no, just to no compare worries. It. Yeah. That's about the same height. Yeah. Yep. Cool. All right, go ahead. All right, and so then we're just going to tip, basically tip them both in at the same time. Just noticing the difference in this soil and that soil. You can already see that this soil's drunk it. Okay, this soil's drinking a little bit. And just notice that the cloudiness also in the top of the soil, as it's as the the particulates of the soil are actually joining in with the water and starting to just move around. Like if we were actually had a rain simulator, you would see that that as you see the water that's sitting on the top of this one is still clear, whereas this stuff here is still um, it's still moving around. So we've given these, that's quite a healthy dose in comparison because like, that's a maximum dose, that's sort of, it's simulating you know, 50, 50 to 60 millimetres of rain and there's already been about that sort of a rain that's already fallen on these soils. So you just see the difference here that there's a centimetre of of water that is sitting on top of this one okay and this one here which we'll check back up on uh, later on but um, at the present time you know we have got a little bit sitting on this but this is actually this is I'm trying to give you what absolute field capacity saturation and you know this is a third year regeneration soil um, we'll show you some further examples of, of a fully regenerated soil and just how much that can drink. But these are identical soils. These are from only, only sort of 300 metres distance from one style of farming to another. And this has had that farming. This proves that this, to me, can be regenerated with pasture. And, you know, just looking at the cloudiness here over the top, this is what we see washing off. This is all the particulate matter of the soil, which is the important part. If we were to take a sample of that, that is all um, ammonia, ammonium nitrate. That is all phosphorus, and that is all mobile in that water. Whereas what you can see there is that any water that is sitting on top is clear. And that's, um, you can see the vegetable matter and things like that in, in, in the soil. Um, but you know, on further samples that will show a full re regenerative agricultural soil, it actually drinks it. So, and you know, from the fullness of time, we'll, sh we'll probably try and show this soil as it regenerates year on year. Like I said, this has been the best year that we've got. A um, we've got some some um, leg legumes really going and working hard. So we, we expect to see, and we've got great worm activity starting. So this is the best year for this soil. Obviously what we had in there was absolutely no life at all. 
So um, it sort of proves that you know we've we've probably increased the capacity of that soil, the water holding capacity of that soil is twice that, but we're not losing any um, we're not losing any of the correct key nutrient capacity elements of that soil, whereas that soil there is losing all of the very very important things that are to grow the produce from the top and um, we'll probably see oh, I shouldn't move that actually we'll probably see that within oh, half an hour that will probably drink all of that whereas that will stay like that for a month um, based on previous sampling um, and that's uh, Remember that this was this was that level of water, which is half the capacity of the, gra the, the glass. And when we show you a fully regenerative soil, we'll show you just how well that actually sucks up all of that. So this is halfway towards where I want it. This is natural farming versus chemical agriculture and mechanical agriculture because this soil was cultivated five days ago and it was deep cultivated in the idea of reducing compaction. This has 100% compaction, this soil has 50% compaction. So the very remedy that is prescribed to fix this soil makes it worse. So as promised, I'll just show you this. So this 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 soil sample here is exactly the same day. So um, and basically what we've done is we've gone into where we've uh, where it's never ever been um, vegetables. It's never ever been ploughed. It's just always been grazed land. And of course, you know we've um, this is actually an area that um, is, is where we've had fallow for um, 12 months. So um, that means that actually nothing's grazed it, nothing's gone near it. We've tried to establish some trees around it, some nut trees and things like that. But you know, this is this is an area that just was never suitable for vegetables, and so it was never ever used for it. But it was a dairy farm beforehand. Um, so again, we've given it a shake, prepared it exactly the same way, just for the um, the purposes of 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 just giving the comparison of what a full regenerative soil is. So, and just again, um, you know, that's exactly the same. I'm giving this a full dose. It's it's half the capacity of the actual of the actual glass. So, see how it goes. So that's slowly drinking that down. Um, Remember this is in the rain, so we are now, it has absorbed it. So that was about nine seconds. Nine seconds is pretty good. Um, we should see full saturation down the column. Um, now, this is all because of the carbon that is in the soil. Um, the carbon gives the soil the nice dark color. We had no expectation that the two soils that we were comparing would be anything like this. What we were, what we would, it did what we expected. We we knew we had 50% at least compaction. So, our, you know, this test doesn't. You don't have to go to a laboratory for this. This is something that you can do at home. And um, so, remember that. Mass wise, this was half the mass of the capacity of the volume of soil that was there, and you know, this soil has completely drunk that. So, this water, the rainwater, is now stored, stored in this in the what we call the topsoil, and it's going to filter all the way down through the soil column and be there available for the plants. So, what what we're mainly concerned about there is that um, if all soils were like this, we would not need irrigation systems, we would not need pivot irrigators. If all soils were like this, we would not have Lake Horafanua. 
if all soils were like this we would be producing produce without having this major problem with pollution without people getting sick this is a very productive soil in fact there's a few insects that have come come out since we put the water in there quite a few actually um, but um, so you can see that you know this little this little fella here has come out I've got a one little guy running around the outside of there but that's completely dry on top and that's exactly what we should expect and just looking down the side of the glass it's actually penetrated mainly through the center of the column so what what remember the volume that we put in the volume of water seems to be around from here to here remember that the volume that we put in was about from there to there so it's it's sitting here and slowly penetrating through the soil the no fertilizer has meant that there is absolute aggregate in the soil and there's absolute complete water infiltration that's what this is this is a water infiltration test so remember the difference that we had and we'll just bring those other soil samples back now this is the this is the 50 percent compaction this is the 100 percent compaction so but this just gives us a, a indication and again you know that the sediment that's in the top it's been about 35 minutes since we, we, we did this um, this hasn't gone down any further this has gone down slightly um, it might be an hour before that actually drinks that down but this will stay like that forever because it's it's only what's going to evaporate off the top um, so that just gives you the idea regenerative farming fully regenerative farming halfway through regeneration chemical agriculture